For a band or cable rotation, you'll need a band attached to a stable attachment point or a cable. Either one should be positioned at the height of your chest. Now, with this movement, this part is so important. I want you to think about pivoting on the balls of your feet and moving your body as one unit. Meaning, as I rotate this way, my toes and knees point in the same direction. My hips are pointing in that direction, so are my shoulders and so is my gaze. And when I turn the other way, pivoting on my feet, whew, everything does the same thing. It's like a little dance. The reason why this is so important is because if we were to not pick up our feet, not move them, when we rotate, notice where my knees end up. They're not aligned with my toes that can present a risk of injury. So think about doing a little dance and pivoting on the balls of your feet. Okay, so once we have that down, now we can do the setup. Turn your body to face toward the attachment point with your arms extended out. Knees bent in a staggered stance with some width between your feet. Brace your core, draw your shoulders down and back. Inhale, and now as you exhale, rotate away from the attachment point, moving as a unit. And notice where everything is pointing in that direction, yeah? Now we'll rotate back. Exhale as you rotate. Inhale as you return toward the attachment point. Notice that I'm keeping my knees bent and torso upright. We do not want to have a rounded back. The last thing I'll mention is depending on the surface that you're on or if you're barefoot or have shoes on, it can get a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit uh, hard to balance, especially like I'm sticking here quite a bit. So what I sometimes will do is add a little step with my trailing leg as I rotate. So I'll rotate and add just that little step and now it's here, little step to regain a little bit of balance. You may not need it, but it can help in some instances.